the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends in chapter 15 we saw about if then else in chapter 16 we are going to be seeing while loop it is like in a loop what do we mean by while so while is a condition while this is actually happening i can do this so just think about this so keeping this as a logic we will be getting into and writing a program to see how it actually works in python i am excited so let's actually take a deep dive namaste friends in today's lecture we are getting into slightly more complex so last time we saw if if then else lf was a sandwich and uh, we tried a lot of commands and then you know uh, we did our best so today is like for loop okay a while condition and a for loop okay so this will actually end our loops uh, so you know let's actually take a deep dive and let's see what it is let me actually try a first command here and let me actually explain to you what it is okay so let's actually take this and let's actually run this beautiful first we say i equals 1 and if i is lesser than 6 true because 1 is 1 is lesser than 6 then i say print i then i say i plus equals 1 what i mean is so in this case i is 1 1 plus equals 1 okay so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 So six is not come because I've said like lesser than six. So at the time of six, it actually breaks and exits the loop. This is what I have actually done here. Okay. Or in other words, um, <clears throat> how do I actually say this? I can even take this here. I equals the very first one is one. So it takes one, and the next one it actually comes as one plus one. So that is two. The second thing is two plus one three. The next one is three plus this thing, which is four. Don't worry about equals this thing, and this is five. So when it actually goes above here, then in this case it becomes equal to six. So then it breaks. So this is exactly what it is actually doing here. All right, did I make sense? All right. So let's actually um, see more. This break conditions and what not. So let's actually take this. Let's actually do this. I say same thing. I equals one. While is this? I say like you know this. Or if I equals three, I say break. I plus equals one. What do I mean? Let's see. Uh, okay, there is an indent, and you know there is an unneeded character. Um, that's okay. We can always try, right? We can always try and see how it is actually working. Um, Okay, let me take this then. Let's see. Same, just if you actually push this on the side, same. Everything, everything is the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The difference is the break should be separate. The break should be separate. Now see here how many times it has actually gone. This has gone into an infinite loop. It has gone into an infinite loop. Sometimes, like in as a programmers, we tend to make. mistakes like this it can go to the infinite loop and this is just not encrish you know this is just not tolerable so i can actually stop it uh, you know this is unacceptable that is why as a programmer you need to know what to do otherwise you can actually run into this infinite loop okay this is not acceptable one so we have to say break so let's actually say with a continue one so what i'm actually going to do is let me go in, i'm going to take this thing and i'm going to say my i equals 0 okay so 0 is lesser than 6 the same thing and then i say if my i equals 3 so when the 3 equals 3 i say continue and print i so let's see what is actually happening uh <clears throat> it is not printing anything but let's actually see uh Let's take this case. I think I need probably need to reach. So let's actually see. Let me see. Okay, in this phase it is fine. So if you see here, 
I am not sure why it actually did but let I will actually try that if I say i equals 1 when 1 is lesser than 6 I say print this and then this we actually did it will go up to 5 then I say else i is no, no, no longer lesser than 6 this is exactly what I told you when it actually comes to the 6th one it breaks the loop all right very nice um, now now we are getting into the for loop so what we are actually saying here is um, this is the while loop and this is the for loop and it comes in the form of an array so you know if you actually see remember what what we actually talked of uh, string list tuple um, you know I'm sorry uh, tuple list dictionary uh, and stuff of that nature so where does it fit the square bracket uh, normal bracket set and dictionary where does it fit you know it right so what I'm actually saying is for X and fruits yes so this is an X this is an X this is an X I say print print X so it, it should be like apple banana cherry let's see see that is exactly what it is okay um, now let's take more this thing now what I say is for X and banana I say print banana so for x and banana this is an x 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 so that is exactly what it is actually giving all right now let's actually take this this is my fruits and this is my this thing so i say when it equals banana i say break so let's see yes it is equaling banana so it is breaking so it is printing the x which is apple and banana it is equal to banana it is breaking okay so if you actually take if I say if I give you a list of app you know fruits whether it is ordered or unordered and then I say whenever it equals banana break it so what will you do this is my list and when my fruit equals banana break that is exactly what I did for X in the fruits and you know when my x equals banana break that is exactly what it did so this is a way you actually visualize and write your code this is a way you actually visualize a logic break it into small steps and then write the syntax start with something small keep building more all right now let's actually take more and uh, in the powerpoint let's see where we are we are you know we have come to the break statement the for loops um, the break statement like you know we actually saw that you know because it actually breaks um, you know so we are we are progressing fine so far so this is my fruit for my x and my fruits so one two three if my x equals banana break and then print x this is more or less what we did okay so it is actually breaking and you know I'm not sure why it is not printing um, mm, yep yeah. this is what it is okay that's okay this is what it is see apple so when the banana comes I'm saying like break it and then only print my X so that is only apple is only there because I'm not even continuing with the banana here all right now here I'm saying continuing and then print X let's see see apple and cherry so when the banana is there I say continue and then you know it gives me apple and cherry so break continue these are the two words and you can actually play with it and the multiple permutations and combinations and you can see which one is actually working now let's see what is a range okay what I'm actually telling is for my X in range 6 print X yeah 0 to 5 and for my x and range 2 to this thing I say like you know print x see 2 2 3 4 5 for my x and range I'm telling this range and then I say print this it is giving me everything so what it is doing is this is my first number this is my last number and this is an increment so 2 5 8 11 14 17 
see how we can actually play with the map and with the with the computer by the side this is how programming becomes interesting so let's see here for my x and my range 6 i'm saying print this else print really finished so if the range is more than 6 i say print really finished let's see finally finished so when it actually comes to 6 it says finally finished So here what is actually happening is I'm actually giving a break when it is actually 3 and then I say finally finished. So let's actually see. So 0, 1, 2 and then it's a break. Okay. So I take two list. Okay, one is my red color, red big tasty, fruits is banana. Okay. For my X in adjust so X X X red big and tasty. And for my Y in fruits, I'm saying print X comma Y. So it's going to print me everything. See? Red apple, big banana, tasty cherry. Okay, and why did it give me so much of times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you know why? Because this is 3, so it has taken 3 times 3, okay, which is 9. 3 times 3. This is a Cartesian, right? 1, 2, 3, so 3 times 3, so that is 9. So that is why it is giving me this, all right? So the pass is basically, you know, the same pass. I say pass of this, okay, very nice. So let's actually try a few things here. What I want to do is, if I say, what does this mean? Okay, now that you guys know, what does this mean? It's going to print me the same, okay? For X, we already tried this. So as I said, keep on trying because more or less, like, you know, once you use one logic, it is going to be the repetitive for multiple things. So let's see what we are doing here. This is a short exercise, right? So let's see what we are doing here. What we are doing here is in the loop when the item is banana, we jump on to the next item. So that is what the continue is. And we also tried this as well. See, we tried this. So what we will do is use the range to the loop code of six items. It's a range of six. Okay, so that part I will not worry. And then what we are going to exit the loop when x equals banana so exiting jumping on to the next one is continue exiting is break okay you say like i need a break i'm putting a break car break okay so when it equals banana you're actually breaking and then printing x it only gives you apple all right uh, i i trust you have actually understood and probably enjoyed this you know um while and for loop conditions if you have any questions kindly contact me i will try to explain to the best of my abilities next time we are going to be meeting with uh, functions okay so we are getting up the slope hang in there and practice try whatever is possible you know just try with you know putting it together trying writing a syntax go have fun fail fall get up that is where the fun really is all right uh, so till we see next time, take care, cheers. Namaste friends, I trust you would have actually watched my while loop and you know probably enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you know whom to contact. Uh, I'll try to explain anything and help you to the best of my abilities. Like always, I'd like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time and the other is my wife Jayashree following me to follow my passion. Till we see next time, take care, cheers. <laughs>